good morning to this wonderful Monday morning in Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. I'm Karen Griffiths and I have the lovely India on the, uh, and they said the telephone, on the canvas today. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? So today, as promised last week, I said I'd show you how to make some gorgeous choc ices and ice cream lollies covered in chocolate uh, with using our beautiful twister icing sugar gorgeous summer flavour. It's like a raspberry and lime flavour. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to use just a little selection of these moulds. I've already got some in the freezer because as I didn't explain, the, I, we're going to make the ice cream as well from scratch. So when I've made the ice cream, I've got it into the moulds beautifully, but you have to let it set before I can put the, uh, the bottom coat on. So what I am going to do is uh, I've made some this morning that just need their uh, bottom coat to go on now and then we can pop them back in the freezer and they can be freezing the whole live while I'm making the the ice cream lollies in here and making the ice cream for you then they, we should be able to get those out of the freezer then and decorate them up the ice cream's still a bit soft in them but it's not soft enough that the chocolate will sink through it it has got that nice um, quite solid part on it now where I know the chocolate won't sink through to it and we can get bob them back in the freezer so the first thing I want to do is I'm using our sugar and crumbs tempered milk chocolate and this is what I've got left in the bowl from this morning uh, I just uh, as I was doing the ice cream mollies this morning so I'm going to show you that look at this this is one this is the heart I did last week that I covered in the purple haze wonder dust look at that let's break it up let's put it in the bowl and i'm going to show you, we just can keep melting this and using it and none of that purple haze will show so i just wanted to prove to you that if they've done some chocolate and you've not eaten it or you don't need it or it's turned out not how you wanted it and you've already lusted it or painted it do not worry you can put it straight back into your bowl we can melt it down don't need to temper because it's tempered and we can just use it straight away so as always as i've always said 30 second blast in the microwave to prevent any burning or overheating of the chocolate. I've got my spatula ready here. So we've had a lot of people come in already, which is really exciting. Um, everyone is still saying good morning. Um, everyone's just coming in and everyone's saying, I think everyone's just really excited for this. Well, look, at the weather's gorgeous outside, isn't it? We've got, I mean, it's a bit overcast and we keep getting sunny spells, but it's really warm. So do you know what? It's, it, this, is, this is now the summer, but this is our summer and this is ice cream moment. And especially if you're using that gorgeous sugar and crumbs ice cream, which once made, you don't go back to shop bought. You just keep making sugar and crumbs. And I'm making a half batch today. Now, the recipe for the ice cream is on the website. If you just put ice cream into the search bar on www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk, it's going to, there it appears, there's my magic at the bottom. You put that into, the, into Google and then put ice cream in the search bar in the recipe page and ice cream will come straight up. Um, it's an it's a ice cream in a, a gorgeous glass with a, a, a cigarello, a, one of those cig, cigarello um, wafers sticking out the top of it. Looks brilliant. And that gives you the amount for 600 mils of cream, um, 400, no, 100, sorry, 600 mils of cream, 200 mils of condensed milk, and 150 grams of any flavoured icing sugar of your choice. But today, I'm using a half a mix, as I've already used half a mix, making the ones that are in the freezer now. And even though we love ice cream and ice lollies, I did not want bogging down that much with too many ice creams. So as you can see, I've melted it. There's no colour in there. I'm keeping on stirring now just to get a few of those chunks at the bottom. I'm sure you're absolutely brutal with breaking up that heart. I'm sorry, I Karen. I know. Was, you, you, were, you were just there with it. Oh, my goodness. But it does look amazing, that chocolate. So one thing is that bowl's got some heat at the bottom there. So what I am going to do is what I suggest, because I don't want to put anything that's too hot into the, uh, the freezer, I don't want to ruin my freezer temperature, I'm going to tip that into another bowl. 
Now it's the sort of thing that I would suggest, even if you were using Calibo chocolate, if you were using Calibo chocolate and you were wanting to do your tempering process, if you brought your chocolate out of the microwave and you feel the bowl is just too warm, then just transfer it. That way it'll start to cool straight away. As you said, we don't need to temper this, but I don't want the chocolate to be too red hot because I do not want um, my freezer to alter its temperature. I also want to coat these moulds a couple of times and we've just we've been waiting while I'm put I put them in the fridge at first. So there we go, we've brought that down. Nice cold bowl. And the chocolate is lovely, glossy. Look at that. And smooth. So the first thing we are gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of this chocolate into a piping bag just so I can coat the lollies that are in the freezer already and we can have them freezing while we're playing. So we've got a couple of comments coming in, everyone saying the weather's, it's a bit mixed to be fair, people are saying the weather is either really nice and dry or it's absolutely raining it down. Yes. So uh, we might get a bit of that later. I mean, um, we had some. We had some. Red, see, that is still a bit too warm. This. So I'm just going to leave it in that bag while it cools down a little bit. It's a little bit too warm for me to want to put that onto my ice cream. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that in the bag just to cool down a little bit. Well, I'll show you the sprinkles. Uh, Valerie has also said um, I made a vanilla ice cream last week. It was absolutely divine. So smooth and creamy. Coffee flavour next time with your new icing sugar flavour. Oh yes. How I mean, I'm just going to leave. As you can see from, I don't know if you can see that little blob there has hit my board, and it's because it's tempered so nicely. It's already set. So that's it. It sets, but just just a little bit too warm in that bag. I just want it to cool down. Only a few degrees because I don't want to melt my ice cream. I mean, the ice cream is pretty cold, so it should start to set as soon as we put it on. So, here we go. We're going to use Twister flavour today, and that's one of our new summer flavours, and it it's just tastes like the, um, the ice creams and ice lollies that you can buy that are, uh, like, green and raspberry coloured. They're absolutely, it's beautiful, and it's such a summery, fruity flavour that adults and children alone will absolutely love this. The moulds I'm showing you are available on the website. So today I'm going to do a couple of chalk ices in this small one. So you can do chalk ices, you can do lollies, but you know what? Let's leave the lolly sticks out of this one and just make a bit of a chalk ice in this one. You can make deeper chalk ices in this one if you want to, but they're a nice, I think they're a nice toddler size uh, ice cream. And so even if you put um, a stick in, we could do one with a stick and one without a stick, just to show you what a nice size they are. These are a beautiful full size. Coat these in chocolate and then we can get some ice cream inside to that. Uh, put them in the freezer and then I'll have to coat them a bit later on. Same with these paws. I've done the paws here so I can probably show you, um, I can show you tonight on Laura's Live, before Laura goes live, I'll take them out of the moulds tonight on Laura's Live just to show you because they will have had quite a few hours to set and we can get them out and you can see them on Laura's Live. But I have done some funny feet and I've done some um, what I call traditional uh, traditional lolly shapes, so they're in the freezer now. Honestly, when you showed those moulds, everybody absolutely loved them. I think they're so yeah. summery and so cute, and I think definitely the poor ones are adorable. They are, but let me get these ones out. Uh, Wayne has also joined us and said hello. Hello there. Hello there. So, Blue Peter moment. Here's some I made earlier. <laughs> so I coated the moulds in chocolate. I gave them a good two coatings to make sure the sides had a nice, decent coat on them. I then made the ice cream, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to make the ice cream. And I've put that in the freezer. Now that's been in the freezer about roughly an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters. You can hear? It has set. It's nice and cold, but I just want to now put this chocolate on and then pop them back into the freezer to set so we can get them out in a little bit and we can decorate them up. But I just want the ice cream just to set that little bit more. So I've done the smallest hole in there because I like, what I'm going to do with this chocolate is I'm going to pipe it on so I've got more of a control going around the edges. Now I want to make sure I'm, I'm getting all the edges because we don't want the ice cream to, to seep out. 
So here we go. Into each toe. And if you want to, you can colour your ice cream using the Colour Splash colours if you want to. That would be great. So those are in there. I'm just going to put that down. Just give that a little tippy tap. A little a tip tap just to make sure. And as you can see, the ice it's that cold, the ice cream, that it's just started to set around this edge. And I've noticed that I've got a little bit of a gap there. So I'm just going into that gap. Because I want to make sure that no ice cream is going to escape. such a lovely comment they said good morning from sunny dublin love the show um i'm, I'm, I'm new um and last week i couldn't put down my phone because i was watching all the videos on youtube um i love them i'm going to buy all of all of your sugar and crumb stuff and luckily you i'll be able to get it from dublin so uh love to you all oh love to you bernadette thank you for watching we're a brilliant group the ladies and the gentlemen on this uh on the uh, page are absolutely amazing and if you ever need any help Please don't hesitate to ask on, on our community page as everyone will jump on and help you any way they can if you've got any questions or queries. Oh, and Claire has also said, um, I'm definitely going to have to have a go with these this week. Um, I'll have ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, but we can't, tell, we can't, we can't say yes or no to it because of, 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 we can't advise things, but all we'll say is that they're, they're very delicious. <laughs> knock it just means that I'm sealing it all around these edges if you've got any chocolate hanging off when you take it out later it does uh, break away from the size just want to make sure it's nice and smooth so you can put it on with a spoon or you can pour it on but I just like doing it with the bag because I've just got that little bit more control with it just to make sure I'm getting all the edges and it's actually a nice even coat it's also really satisfying as well as watching it? it pour out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just make sure on that side bit there. I mean, let's face it, you can't have too much chocolate on an ice cream, can you, anyway? <laughs> so I just want to make sure that I've got round the edges because I don't want no um, ice cream popping out on me. Quote of the day, Karen Griffiths. Can't not have too much chocolate. No. Anybody who says an ice cream's got too much chocolate on it, oh no. It's what makes it. So I'm just making sure that I've got it just around this edge here. Just because I want to make sure that, like I said, no ice cream bobs out. So now, started to set already because the ice cream was so cold. That I'm just going to now put these back into the freezer and they can uh, rest there for a while while we make our ice cream moulds and we make our, we make the little lolly moulds and then we make our ice cream. To set around the side, it doesn't matter, just get your spatula in there, strip it down. We can always remelt it in the microwave, and look at that, it's lovely and smooth again. So, what I want to do now is just put a little bit just to cover the bottom of the mould. I'm just going to do a couple of these, couple of these. I'm going to do one without one with the stick and one without a stick. So, look at this. Get a paint. I find that you can use a teaspoon or you can use a brush. I'm using a flat brush just so that I can get up the sides. Now I'm wanting to make sure that I've covered 
all the silicone to make sure it's all covered in chocolate. There's still a nice coat. There's still a nice coat there on the bottom, which will have that beautiful pattern in it. So it's just up the side, just like you get into all those little nooks and crannies, just to make sure that everything is coated perfectly. Now we will just leave that to one side a moment until that chocolate starts to thicken because I'm going to try and use some more off the bottom to recoat the side. But I do find that before I did need to add an extra sort of teaspoonful of chocolate to the mould. Good morning, Lincoln. Hello there. Well, that might be no, sorry, Poppy. She saw you had the paw prints out and she went, Oh, what's that? <laughs> So here we go, I've poured some chocolate into this one because this one I want to make sure I get into all the toes and go, I'm going to paint all the toes first and then I'll make sure I've got enough on the bottom so we have a nice coating of chocolate for what I would call, it's the top of your lolly really when you bring it out because it's the one with the smoothest, the smoothest side. Um, so Geraldine has just asked, can you freeze double cream? Um, some ladies on here might be able to help some people have, I haven't done it but apparently some ladies have frozen double cream when they've been if they've going out of date and they've uh, defrosted it in the fridge when they wanted to use it I have never personally done it so it, I'd be very grateful if any ladies on here or gentlemen on here could answer Geraldine's question for her right, I can just see the ridge on the, uh, if you can, I can just see the ridge on the, the feet showing through. So I do want to get some more chocolate on that because I want to make sure that that is really coated so that the ice cream won't break through that layer of chocolate. So I'll quickly go around this bit. Now I can tell it's definitely going to need a second coat on the side because I can still see the silicone showing through. So I'll just put that paintbrush there a moment. Come on, don't. Would help if I didn't balance it on something, wouldn't it, eh? It's on the scissors now as well. Right, so just a little teaspoon there. I just want to go, I just want to make sure that the paw print, that the ridges of the paw are completely covered because that's where the ice cream would pop through. So you just want to make sure you've got a good coat. Same as if you're doing cake pops, make sure that those ridges are covered in chocolate because you're giving yourself a nice secure case then. I'll leave that to one side a moment and we'll do a couple of these. Well, these have got nice deep ridges so I'm just making sure that they've got all gone to the bottom of the ridges there. Now these ones won't give a lot of ice cream inside. You'll get just like a, it'll be like a, more like a, a, a chocolate sandwich. But there, I think sometimes it's just enough, isn't it, mm. for the children? Don't give them too much chocolate. <laughs> well, it's like it, and it's also not too much of it, ice cream. It'll just, you'll get a thin coat of ice cream there, so it's more like a chocolate sandwich. But it's a nice little treat for them. So Mandy's just said, I made cake pop on lollies the other day. The kids love them, but they're not for me, I'm afraid. You like these ones, they're nice green ones. Again, just making sure that that's all coated. And I do want to coat these sides. The bottom doesn't need coating again on these lollipop molds because I've got enough chocolate in there. It's the sides I want to make sure I can coat again. So this is the first one that I did. It hasn't started, it's just started to set around the sides now. So what I want to do is I'm just coating the sides again. Doesn't matter that the bottom's not set because I'm not coating the bottom again, I'm just coating around the sides. And I've got a bit of spare chocolate there so I'm just going around the sides on that one. And I'm now going to put my lolly stick in a moment. So see how much chocolate I've got there because I can always just put another spoonful of chocolate in if I don't, if I think the bottom 
is a bit thin, I'll put another spoonful of chocolate in. That's fine. So I'll put one lollipop sticker. I'm going to make one with and one without. Let's look at the poor ones. So the poor ones have started to set around the side, which is what I wanted. And I just want to now just take the chocolate up because there's quite a lot of chocolate in the toe part. So I can actually use some of that chocolate out the toe part to make sure the mould's coated. And then just make sure that the ridges are covered again. Have you been locked out? <laughs> oh, have you been right. have you been locked out? Has Michael got is Michael's been taking everybody for a walk and you're back here, are you? Hey. We'll let you in, in a minute. Alright. There we go. So I'm just gonna now they've had a nice coat in those. So again, I'm gonna do these as two nice lollipops. the stick through and I'm just resting it onto the mould there. Now I don't mind that the stick goes in there and it's sticking into the chocolate but they're coated beautifully and as you can see it's already started to go like a lovely matte. The gloss has gone off it uh, on that so, so I know it's starting to set nicely in there but I am going to put these into the fridge to set properly while we make the ice cream up. So with this one here Again, I'm just coating up the sides. I've got enough chocolate in this mould to coat up the sides and then it will cover. By the way, for everyone asking, that was Poppy and she's, and she's whining a little bit because uh, all the others have gone out on a walk, unfortunately. And, they, and I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think the office door might be closed and she can't get back in, bless her. But India will sort her out in two ticks. We'll just let her in. She's probably thinking the other ones are all having a bit of um, bit of treats and she's missing out. Here we go. So they've had a really nice coating up the sides. I'm really happy with those ones. So was it closed? Yeah. She's probably was. thinking, oh my goodness, everyone's getting treats and I'm not. She was like, let me in, let me in. Right, there we go. I'm going to get a baking tray for these. Oh, and I'll put my stick in. Oh, wow. Don't forget your stick. Don't forget. So I'll do one stick in one. We'll do one stick in one and we'll leave one out so it can be like a chalk ice. Nice baking tray. And put these moulds on because I can get them out of the fridge easier then. So I've got that one. Those moulds fit perfectly together to be fair. They do. <laughs> I'll just turn that one like that. I'll just uh, get that up there a bit. Because I actually probably will. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All on the baking tray. So everything's nice and flat there. And get these in the fridge now. It's like perfect chocolate fridge. Karen's chocolate fridge. Arguably the best fridge in this kitchen. <laughs> But that's my opinion. <laughs> right, just got my nice cloth. Here we go. Any chocolate on the board. You can see it, it already started to set nice and clean. So I need the microwave in a bit to carry on melting this chocolate down when I want to cover the other chocolate ices. I'll leave that to one side and we'll slip the microwave out of the way and we'll bring the mixer in. See, India, not a lot of chocolate mess. Have you seen that, eh? I know, I'm, I'm very impressed. <laughs> you want, you've stepped up your chocolate game again. You're actually 
number one in the business now. Tidy. <laughs> there we go. So let's just slip this microwave to one side. Bring the mixer in. There we go. Here's what I made earlier. <laughs> what? Be a long time to put this mixer together. Here we go. So we've got a mixer here. So our ice cream menu recipe is on the website. Uh, to make a full batch of ice cream, it's 600 mils of double cream, 200 mils of condensed milk, and 150 grams of sugar and crumbs, natural flavoured icing sugar of your choice. We have over 50 for you to choose from. So you can make ice cream in any flavour that you desire. Today we're using that gorgeous Twister flavour. Now I have done ice cream in the Love Hearts flavour, I've done it in strawberries and cream, oh, I've done it in van velvet vanilla. The, the list, I mean, I can't wait, like you said, to try a coffee ice cream. Oh my giddy ants. <laughs> Taking your breath away, you're like, oh, it oh. is. So I am only going to do a half mix today because that will fill me some lollipop moulds for the ice creams. And any spare, I'll just put into a little dish to go in the freezer, and it's a pot of ice cream for you there to eat it. Before I got the um, the four ice creams that I did before that are in the freezer now, and um, I've got a little. Could you pass me a little tub, please? Tub? If you open the freezer, you'll see my little tub there. So how many ice creams have I got there? I've got four ice creams there. This one? Yes. No, no. That, I want that one. Uh, how many ice creams have I got in the freezer there? You have got um, five. Five ice creams. So I've made five ice creams to decorate and I got a gorgeous... Look at that. If we can get into it. Can get into it. So look at that. So I've got a gorgeous... <laughs> Saturday night movie helping of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> a little tip, little tub like that. And I've just filled it with the rest of the ice cream. But it's absolutely great, so it's not gone to waste. And you can, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could wait for that to soften down and then you could fill your ice cream moulds again with it. You don't have to just eat it out of the bowl, but I don't, you don't waste any ice cream. Just find a freezer container, put it in, and you've got some ice cream there to go with your desserts, as well as having your chocolate ice cream lollies and your chocolate chocolate ices you've got some ice cream as well to go with your desserts. Into this bowl, we're going to put today a hun Where's me? 100 grams of condensed milk, 75 grams of Twister flavoured icing sugar, and I'm just going to get the cream out of the fridge because it's that humid in here. I did not want the cream to turn. I like the way that's an official measurement. Um, a Saturday night helping of ice cream. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the best measurement, isn't it? <laughs> and here I have 300 grams, or 300, 300 mils of double cream. So all of this goes into the bowl. Lorraine has just said, I think I need a chocolate fridge. <laughs> so that's a 300 grams of double cream. 100 grams of condensed milk mm, I love the smell of this and who likes doing this and then licking the spoon later <laughs> so that's there and then I'm putting straight in 75 grams of Twister flavoured icing sugar just screams summer to me this so just a question um, how long would, does the ice cream uh, last in the freezer I've had ice cream in my freezer months and it still tastes fine. As long as it's in, as long as it's in um, a sealed container, I've had it in, I've had it in absolutely ages because fro it's frozen and I, oh, oh, it's lovely. I mean, I've had some in my freezer probably about three months at home and it's still fine. I know that because I tasted it yesterday and it was still fine. So again, you could make your chalk ices and then you could... Um, you could leave them in the, put them in a nice container in the freezer and you've got your chalk ices and you've got your ice creams, you know, your ice cream lollies there as well. So I've stirred that in because I didn't want to have uh, ice and sugar cloud. I'm going to turn this on. Now, the, what you've got to watch with the ice cream... Oh, wait. <laughs> you have to turn the mixer on. <laughs> there you go. 
And what I'm gonna, what you've got to watch with this ice cube is you don't over mix it. So can we just go to the front one moment? Yes. Can you do that? So don't over mix your ice cream. We mix it until you can see the double cream has all um, beaten, all whisked together, and it's just started to pull away. If you over mix it, you'll make it go a bit. You'll make it go bitty. The ice cream will go bitty. Still tastes okay, but you can just taste where it started to separate a little. So we mix this until it's a nice, thick, um, smooth mixture. We don't want to overbeat it. Doing it on me on a I'm doing it on number three speed there, just a medium speed. Just turn it up a little bit. And it's one of those that you don't want to walk away. It's just keep your eye on it. Don't just put the mixture on and walk away. Because as you know, double cream can suddenly uh, whisk up without you realising it. And there's one thing that's really important, don't over whisk your ice cream. But you do want it thick enough that it sets quicker in the freezer. The thicker you have it, the quicker it sets, but don't go too thick. As you can see that's now, that's starting to come together nicely, but it's still too runny for me. I'm waiting to see the double cream whisk together so that it just, it, it's like a pipe, it, it's pretty much like a, a piping, a, a, a piping consistency, but a loose piping consistency. So Annette says, do you need the whisk attached? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, Annette. Thank you. Yes. Why I got my K mixer out, my K beater. And do you know what? When I did it this morning, I washed the beater. Oh no! I washed it. I did it this morning. I washed the whisk. <laughs> and for some reason, just uh, I think I was on on mode for. There we go. Thank you, Annette. There we go. So we whisk it. As you you heard me saying whisk it all the time, and there I am with the beater. <laughs> so I am whisking it. Uh, as it's, coming together nicely and I'm keeping that, I want to just make sure it just starts where you can see the ridges within the cream. So Jenny has asked, is Twister flavour the same as orange Twister or is it something different? No, it's like a lovely lime and raspberry taste. So I have done ice cream before and I've done it in the tub and I, I coloured it pink and uh, lime and I did a Twister flavour all the way through it. In fact I have a tub in the freezer, I can show you that in a moment. But as you can see now, that's getting nice and thick. Can you see that's starting to get nice and thick? And it's the cream's coming together, and it's starting to create ridges, and it's pulling away from the sides. I want it to stick to the beater. Right, look at that now. So I just want to show you this now. So that is still really smooth. It's not, uh, it's not started to separate, oh, where have you gone, sorry. It's not started to separate, it's smooth, it's stuck to the whisk. So when you knock it off, so it's still a lovely consistency. Put that over there. As you can see that, and it's still a lovely, lovely and smooth. Now what I am going to do is, I'm going to put it into a piping bag. I find it easier, again as I said about great control about piping it into your into your moulds, rather than trying to spoon it. So I'm just going to use, the number. I've got the number 10 nozzle there, but I'm not going to cut it yet until I put some ice cream in. I'm using a smaller bag so that I can just keep refilling if need be. Geraldine just said, it's Monday, Karen, it's understandable. Oh, <laughs> it's because I've washed it and put it to one side and I was thinking about Laura tonight and I just got out the, uh, I got the beater out. So don't forget, as I said, the lovely Laura's back in the kitchen tonight. So join us at eight o'clock. So there we go, I've got some ice cream in there. I just want to squeeze that down, I don't want it coming out the top. And then we'll just... Oops, it, you would do that, wouldn't you? 
So I'll just get that little bit out. There we go. That's fine now. Twist that round so I've got ice cream and then we'll get our mould out of the fridge. And always make sure to wipe the tip. So there we go, you can see that our ice cream moulds have got a nice coating around the sides. Um, the bottom is lovely and coated. So I'm just going to pipe. Now I'm going to pipe the ice cream in, but I want to make sure that I leave, don't want it too thick, but I want to leave a good, I'd say a couple of millimetres. Just so the chocolate can go on the top, so it's, it's, it's sealing the ice cream in. So there we go, that's one pour done. And that's the second. Making sure that I'm getting it right up to the, the chocolate shell. Again, just wiping the tip squeeze the ice cream down No, you, you, you wouldn't leave ice cream lollies out of the freezer if you was uh, having them at home. You'd just get them out of the freezer as you needed them, wouldn't you? Uh, because you don't want the ice cream to you don't want the ice cream to melt. So you could probably uh, bring them out if you were. You could bring them out um, on a really hot day. I bring them out as you want them. On a, if it was a cooler day, you could maybe bring them out a few minutes beforehand and put them onto a serving tray. But I wouldn't leave them out too long because you don't want the ice cream to be runny when you bite into it. You don't want it to be going and, and um, dripping out. I'd be so sad, especially because it looks so lovely and thick and whippy as well. So here we go. As I said, this one is, is not too bad a, a portion in here. It's what I would call it's a little it's a it's a lovely toddler size ice cream this or a little a little treat before tea if they were really hot. I'm just using the nozzle just to make sure I'm getting it in all into all the corners. Now you can use a palette knife if you want to. We've smoothed that down so we've got a nice edge to it. And what I want to do now is this ice cream will go into a nice oh, would go into a nice bowl. I've got a lovely um, plastic container for that to go into in a moment. There we go. Clean that bit up. I'm just going to put these just to one side because I, I'm not. Uh, hold on, I'm putting, to, I'm putting to one side. I'm putting these into the freezer because I need this ice cream now. If I look, show you this bit here. If I try to put the chocolate on that now, because it's so smooth, the chocolate will just um, it'll melt into it. So I need that to firm up. Even if you only put it in the freezer for an hour to an hour and three quarters, you'll find it will firm up enough for you to be able to put the chocolate on the top and it'll give a gorgeous coating to it. And also with the ice cream being cold, it coats it, the chocolate sets quicker on the top of the ice cream. I don't want the, I don't want the chocolate just to, to go into the bottom and sink into this ice cream. So they're, they're nice and smooth them on the top, so I'm going to get a gorgeous coating. I'll coat these later and then I'll be able to show you on the live. I'll take them out of the mould on the live tonight before Laura goes live. Alison has just said, those mini ones are Slimming World friendly size. <laughs> <laughs> Here we 
go. Take those out so I can put these in. My, my tray doesn't fit in the freezer. Oh, does it not? No. Put those there like that. There we go. Can I just pass you that moment just to use? I'll just show you this. This is what I made on one of the lives the other week, the month. This is the lovely, look at that. That's the gorgeous, I don't know if you can see that. That's the, the gorgeous uh, Twister ice cream. And I coloured it uh, raspberry and lime. So look at that. That's where it had a little bit of a scoop out. So you can make your ice cream. And then you, uh, you can bring it and you can, if you can scoop it out, get your hot get your hot a scoop or get a warm teaspoon into the ice cream you know like with the red hot water and you can scoop your ice cream out you could fill your chocolate molds that way if you don't want to make anything fresh if you have ice cream in the freezer already i think the, co the colors on them are absolutely amazing but i bet the flavor is also fantastic as well yes so we've got a nice clean board and let's bring out our ice lollies. So these are the ones I made this morning. I had to make them because I wanted the ice cream to set. So the ice cream, they've been in the freezer now, what time is it now? Quarter past 12. So they've been in the, in the freezer um, two and a half hours. So the ice cream is nice and set in there. The chocolate's nice and set on the top because you've just seen me coat that with the chocolate. To get them out, turn them upside down. Peel the silicone. Keep your hand on it, don't press, you don't want to break the chocolate, but just keep it, your hand gently on there and peel it away. Now peel it away very carefully and then put your fingers, put your fingers on the stick and push. Don't try and pull the lolly out with it, just make sure you put your finger, you see the stick there, it's underneath, underneath. I'm just going to push it out of the mould. Again, our traditional shape ones. Very carefully. I'm peeling back all three at the same time, bit by bit. I'm getting the stick just to help. Oops, I think one's just started to break there. It doesn't matter. We will repair that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think... Whoa, the ice cream is a bit softer. The, the lolly, or the ice cream. See that? The ice cream's still... Ice cream's still soft on that one. So the sticks come out. So you have to... You do have to leave them. I mean, really, these should be left in the freezer for, I would say, a good four hours. Just get this one out. Very... Beautiful. The tempered chocolate is beautiful, isn't it? It looks so good, and when you dust them, oh. I know. So, you know, all right, we'll put that to one side because that one is you can tell if the ice cream is still so very. This ice cream is still so soft inside. So, I need to. You need to leave them in the freezer. You definitely need to leave them in for a, a, at least four hours. I've brought them out after two and a half hours, two and three quarters hours, and it's just. Just quite not long enough, and I didn't want to coat them any more with the chocolate because I thought we had a good coating of chocolate. But you could, if you wanted to, give them another coat of chocolate if you wanted to have a thicker chocolate shell on it. So you can see these have turned out lovely. My feet there are beautiful. <laughs> the ice cream is just a mark on that. The ice cream is actually coming through there. So there we've got the feet, and I've got a couple of lollies there. That one can be an India special later. I'll put that back into the freezer now. <laughs> it's a broken lolly, but you know, hey ho, India, take one for the team later. The broken one always goes to <laughs> India or Terry. <laughs> take one for the team later with a broken lolly. That's fine. Someone's got to carry that, that 
got to bear that cross, so I guess I will have to do it. With these, I'm going to work quickly with these because I want to put them back into the freezer. Oops, a daisy. Put there. So what we are going to do with these is I'm just actually going to melt this chocolate down again in the microwave. There. Just so I can money here. Melt that down a little bit. And rather than putting the edible glue on, I'm actually going to put a little bit of the melted chocolate onto there so it can stick. I can stick some of the, our gorgeous sprinkles on. I've got the um, Sprinklicious Baby Pink Mix. I've got Sprinkletti, which is called the Sherbet Fizz Mix. And then I've got uh, Purple Cupcakes, which is called the Mermaid Mix. I'll put, I'll bring them down there like that. Bring them, and then you've got... There we go. We do so many amazing sprinkles. If you haven't had any, I would suggest go and check them out on the website because we do so many different types and they're all different, like, coloured. Yeah. The, the Purple Cupcakes have got a great range. We've got the Sprinkletti and then our Sprinkalicious range is amazing. We have got such a lot of different mixes in, I mean, the Sprinkalicious range. And the, the, we've got Girly, we've got the ones that are suitable for the boys. and the, We've got, oh, there's, there's loads. We've got the party mixes, we've got the gold mixes, the silver, the reds, the yellows, the purples. The only, the only thing that's bad about them is like you've got to make your own creativity. Like we have so many different types, it's up to you on where you want to put them. Like we have everything from uh, from like grass designs, which Georgie used in our, in yes. our, in our class, um, to ones like this where they go on mermaid cakes and all sorts. So honestly, it's endless. So here you go with my nice clean covers. You can oh you, you missed my nice clean covers then, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, so last week um, Karen and Carol uh, absolutely um, went through the entire kitchen um, and just got rid of loads of stuff and organised loads of stuff, so everything is in different places. And it's labelled. But it looks amazing. <laughs> Poor Laura will come here tonight and she won't be able to find anything. So I'm just going to use, I'm just going to, um, oh, let's sprinkle this pour up. Look at that with the, oh. So you can leave them chocolate if you want to. You can leave them just as the chocolate, but if you want to give them a bit of bling, bling, bling. <laughs> you can use our lovely Wonder Dust on them. When you when you mix in it, just when you've got it in the mixer, put your colour in that you want, and let it uh, and let the colour mix while your ice cream is mixing around. So I've got a nice ruby rose foot there. That looks so lovely. And then just clean my brush off a little bit because you know what? How about a bright gold? for the other foot and we'll just stick a couple of little now remember these chocolates have come out of the freezer so they are cold so you do have to work quick with your luster if you want to luster just go over it a couple of times gosh that's brought it up so lovely yeah you have to go over it a couple of times because remember they are cold these and it's not like just doing room temperature chocolate. You're doing chocolate that's been in the freezer, but I can't let these come back to room temperature because the ice cream will be melting inside. So I've still got a lovely shine on there. Just do the underneath bit there. So look at that. It's still got a nice shine on that. And then if I want to um, I want to decorate the toes up, I've got my chocolate in my bag here. And um, it's 
squeeze my chocolate down there. So this is starting to set in the bag, which is good because I didn't want it red hot. So I just want to get that little bit out of the... I'm just going to put a dab. It sets as soon as it hits the toe. Oh, I've got a lovely butterfly for her top toe there. <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do is pick it up and do it immediately because the ice cream <laughs> the ice cream yeah, is freezing cream. the chocolate it is <laughs> setting the chocolate as quick as you're uh, piping it on yes, which is good in there there we go that's the way to do it have the um, have the sprinkle in your hand straight away <laughs> Lynn has just said loving the twinkle toes <laughs> Yeah, they've been. To, they've, she's been to the. Uh, she's been to a nail technician over the weekend, and she's had her toes done. <laughs> so you do have to be quick. Look at that. So we've got that on there. And then if you wanted to, let's get that chocolate out there. You just get a pair of tweezers. They're the best things to use as well, is the tweezers. Which is our gimme tweezers. Means I can pick up. She's having a big one on there now for that. <laughs> I'll set lovely that. I just love how fun they are though. Like they can be, de they can, they're definitely like, they're for all ages. They certainly are. stick on there <laughs> see but it's not good the chocolate's starting to set in because we've got a little bit in my piping bag wow i'm not i'm not happy with that one toe <laughs> that toe's going at the moment let's but let's get this other one here i like that one oops a daisy I like that toe better. <laughs> so put those over there like that. And then on these ones, I'm just going to melt this chocolate in I'm just going to paint a line across, paint a line across, and then just sprinkle. Oh, that'll be nice. Kind of what you can just you see the as you can see the condensation on there now on the lollipop condensation because they're out of the freezer so you do have to work quickly just dry that off Setting. Yeah, it's already doing yeah. it. My goodness. In a moment, I'll 
can pick that up and I can just uh, get rid of the ones that aren't on there on that one and this one I'm not too sure if my luster will go on because of it being the condensation but we'll just give that a bit of a whirl now yeah just give them a bit of a wipe quickly if you've had them out the freezer and then you can get your luster needs to go back in the freezer that one because it's starting to uh they, like i said they haven't been in the freezer long enough let me just get these onto a small tray for you do you want this tray that we're using no i'm going to get oh, okay. get this one that will go into the freezer this one going to have to work fast decorating them up um, especially because even if you use glue or if you use chocolate as soon as it hits the um, the, the cold ice lolly it, it does set so we can work quickly I can do it but I really I mean I really would suggest on leaving these ice lollies or chalk ices in the freezer for a good four hours those ones that I've made this morning will be staying in the fridge now for um, until tonight but I will coat them with the chocolate uh, this afternoon just so they can leave them in the freezer again so they're going to have a good we're going to have a good six hours in the freezer and they will come out the moulds a lot easier than what these came out because these with, with the ice cream still being a bit soft inside as you can tell it just broke a little bit but once they're back in the freezer and it all freezes up it's absolutely fine uh, the ice cream won't seep through and the chocolate will be all frozen to the sides again so all the lolly moulds are on stock uh, on the website. They're in stock. Uh, if any have suddenly sold out, because we've been doing a, uh, a lot of people are buying their lollipop moulds and the ice cream moulds. Uh, Carol is getting them in all the time. So these feet one and the traditional ones, what I call a traditional lollipop mould, that one, and we've got the foot one. Uh, we've got the ones that I used before, and then we have. Everyone appreciate Karen's chocolate covered there as well. <laughs> and then we've got the gorgeous bunny rabbit one as well, where you can make a, a bunny rabbit ice cream or chalk ice. And just remember, you can use these as well if you want. Can you go to the front again for me? Yes. You can use these again if you just want to make like fruit lollies. If you want to make your, um, just shut that cupboard door. If you just want to make your fruit lollies with your um, fruit juice. You could make some gorgeous lollies. Put your sticks in. You could make like the, your orange ones. So you could make your, your orange lollies, your lemonade lollies. Anything you want to do. Your gorgeous fruit lollies, Vimto lollies. You can make these in the mould. Leave them in the freezer to set. Bring them out. Uh, make sure you put your, your stick in. And you've got a perfect, lovely, cooling ice lolly there. For your little ones or for you in this lovely heat. <laughs> so these have got to go back in the freezer. So I do hope... You are going to make some ice cream lollies and chalk ices. As I said, tonight on the live, before I let Laura um, do hers, I'll just quickly take them out of the mould, just to show you they've come out of the mould absolutely fine. I won't be decorating them up because I don't want to, uh, to, to steal Laura's live, but I'll just actually take them out of the mould and show you that they've come out of the mould and we'll have them there just for you to have a look at at 8 o'clock tonight. So thank you so much for joining us. Now, don't forget tomorrow... We have Carol's Buttercream Flowers at 2 o'clock. Um, for anybody who hasn't joined, please look at that class. It's an absolutely amazing class. And Carol shows you how to do all the buttercream flowers, but she's actually doing it in Swiss meringue buttercream now. So you're getting to learn a new technique, and the flowers are coming out amazing. We have Claire Corbett on this week. Uh, not Claire Corbett. We have Tracy Mann on this week, don't we, India, mm -hmm. on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I don't know who's doing the live on Thursday night yet. We, we have a guest. It will either be a guest or it will be Carol. Uh, 
then Friday it's me back. Oh! <laughs> wow! We have got a busy week this week. Oh, Wednesday, two o'clock, we have Product Live. Oh, that's true. With Carol, yes. Because Carol comes back tomorrow morning, so I'm looking forward to seeing Carol again. She's had a lovely, uh, relaxing break with John's family in Ireland. So she's going to come back with all her batteries recharged and ready to go. And no doubt, I think she's doing rhododendrons tomorrow, isn't she, in the yeah, buttercream flowers she's... class? <laughs> so no doubt she'll be running in the kitchen tomorrow and we'll, she'll probably be doing them live with you. <laughs> On the uh, on the buttercream flowers class, and I'm looking forward to seeing those. So please join us again tonight at eight o'clock for Laura, and then I'll see you buttercream flowers ladies tomorrow at two. And thank you, India. No worries. I'll see you all later. See you later. I want to see plenty of ice cream lollies and fruit lollies using our molds on the website, please. Bye.